Okay, do you know what is mean by DST? Uh, DST is a glutar glutarian as transferase is a naturally occurring 26 KDA protein found in the eukaryotic cell. And then uh, it also uh, is an efficient method for a single set catches of protein used to a DST glutarian as a transferase test. It also has the strong affinity of DST for immobilized glutarian carbon matrices. And then uh, DST also uh, are, com are a family of the multifunctional cytosolic protein that are present in eukaryotic uh, organisms where body region of DST from histosoma japonicum. And then uh, DST also isoform are not normally found in the bacteria so that the endogenous bacteria protein do not compare with it. And then it also uh, with the it also involved with the DST number protein for binding to the polyphenol And then uh, it also expressed as a pseudo protein in the alkali cytoplasm in high amount and with the full enzymatic activity. And lastly, to generate the concept that express with the epithelial protein, uh, the sequences coding for the protein of interest can be inserted into commercially available sectors such as uh, SEPGEX, GE Healthcare, and CEC, Norwegian Seeds of Plasmid. This is the pictures of the DST protein to be the missionary state, and then it is the process that involves the recombinant protein of the DST with the immobilized glutathione. And then uh, it will produce the, <laughs> the recombinant protein and also the glutathione, also the adhesion protein. Introduction of affinity chromatography. As we know that uh, affinity chromatography has been used in this GST tech protein for the first step in this chromatography. Then this technique is used to spread and profile biological molecules from a mixture based on the attraction of molecule interest, uh, in this case is protein interest, to particular ligand that has been attached to solid inert substance. So this mixture will pass through uh, the column that contain the ligand attached to the stationary phase so that the molecule of interest will stay in the column while the rest of mixture will go through the column. So a different chemical will be used in this column to detach the molecule from the ligand and bring out separately from the rest of the mixture. So basically this method is to provide a protein which a glutathione has transpressed domain as it Protein is specifically and complementary binding substance like it. This is uh, the diagram uh, that shows uh, the generally separation of using the chromatography. In this GST tech protein will bind to glutathione in B in the circle porous B and the non-specifically or weakly bound protein will wash out through the column or eluted first. And then GST tech protein which specifically will be elated with glutathione competitor or thrombin which is a protein to get the pure protein or protein interest that we want or require. Affinity tech protein, tech protein, affinity tech protein, tech protein are attached to protein for various type of purpose and each different type of tech have the specific binding on the surface of the chromatography. And the selection of metric and resin also must suitable and compatible with the type of protein that we want to purify. In this table, we compare three different types of affinity tags, which are glutathione as transferase, GST, polyhistidine, tagistidine, and also maltose binding protein, also known as MBP tag. And for GST protein, we can get from Amersham company that's suitable for 218 amino acid at N terminal. And if you want to use GST tech protein, we can use metric resin for metric resin is just GSH saparose where the protein will bind to the matrix. And the eluting agent that can be used is glutathione. And for polyhistidine, we can get from glycan and also biorep that's suitable for 6 amino acid hastidine either at N terminal or C terminus. And the matrix that can be used is nickel, NTA or talent. And the eluting agent that can be used for this type of insulin is imidazole to get the pure protein. And for maltose binding protein, MVP, we can get from Biolabs sources, from Biolabs company, which are suitable for 396 amino acid either at N terminus 
Ositaminus and the type of metric erosin that can be used for MBP text are uh, amylose and for eluting agent we can use maltose to get the pure protein. Deactivated protein. Basically, it can be divided into two types of mechanism, which is prepare a clear ecolylizate and also bind and profile the acetate protein. Okay. For prepare a clear ecolylizate, it can be divided into two types of uh, reaction, which is recombinant plasmid inserted into the E. coli and then the replication of transport and then transform protein in the E. coli or other expression vector. And then for binding and profile the acetate protein, FNT chromatography and on immobilized glutathione and selection of transform, transform uh, protein. For this diagram, first of all, we have a uh, plasmid which is contain origin of replication, antibiotic resistance and also MCS, multi pointing site. And then also we got where well, the site insertion of CST type protein. In this example, we use Kalkotosmata japonicum which, where it clone in E. coli to express the GST tap protein and then after the gene GST that is inserted into the plasmid and transformed it will be selected using using GST tap protein which is purification where it will remove it will remove the non-transformed GST tap protein and it will retain the transformed protein in the column metric and then it will elute it with buffer before we purification of the ST tech protein, we need to get a clear E. coli lysate. This protocol has uh, described the duration of 200 ml E. coli culture for the subsequent for, for the subsequent purification of the ST tech protein. However, this protocol may be modified depending on the initial result, which is uh, reveal the insolubility of the DST take protein and contamination of the preparation with unknown protein. So how to get and prepare a clear E. coli lysate? So the first step is for the bacterial cell pellet on the ice for the 15 minutes and it suspend the pellet derived for the 200 milliliter E. coli culture in 20 ml PBSL buffer as known as uh, E. coli lysate buffer This buffer we need to prepare it fresh and it might use within 30 minutes preparation Then pour into the 50 ml cube and incubate at room temperature uh, for 30 minutes After 30 minutes, we remove 5 microlit of the sample uh, mixed with 1 microlit 5 times SDS batch buffer and store it in negative 20 degrees Celsius for SDS batch analysis This totalized sample is used for the analysis expression of the ST take protein For the remaining of the suspended of pellet, we Fuse and room temperature for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes we collect the carefully collect the supernatant as known as a uh, acrylicet and I remove 5 microlit from the supernatant and mix with 1 microlit of the SDS plus buffer and store it under negative 20 degrees Celsius and this sample consists of the solubility consists of solu soluble GST tech fusion protein if the ST tech protein does not soluble at the recommended of buffer recommended a negative condition or does not bind to the glutathione affinity matrix, we can destabilize the conformation of the ST tech protein by adding the denatural urea up to four molar urea has been successfully has been successfully applied in Analysis and binding tech. So in this diagram, can you can see more clearly how we remove the unwanted protein from the desired of protein and GST protein to form the clear GST tech protein. After we get the clear colorless protein, we proceed to the protocol preparation under native condition. So before you can load the sample. You have to prepare the column, so you must wash the column with the three saline buffer to preserve the structure and function of JST protein.
And next we will be load the super uh, supernatant cell lysis buffer over a glutathione column. And then the you must wash the step two is you must wash the column with the uh, free reduced glutathione. And then the uh, free glutathione will place the immobilized glutathione and release the GST tag protein. And next step is the GST eluted protein. You must run over the nectar column to remove the free glutathione. And this result, uh, you will get the very pure sample that contain only GST protein. And next is you. Uh, the last step is step six. You will determine the purity of GST protein by SDF paint. So this is the specific method of the purification step of GST tag. And this is the micrograph of the affinity chromatography. Uh, in the first stage, we do the equilibration, which is to prepare the column for the sample loading. In the stage 2, it is where the absorption of sample and elution of unbound material happen. And then to wash away the unbound materials again. This stage 2 happens during the loading of the sample. In the stage 3, we elute the bound materials by using the elution buffer and the last stage is the equilibration again. The advantage and disadvantage of GST step protein. Okay, the advantage is that the elution with glutathione, which is the elution buffer, can give a proper air mic condition to the column and then it able to preserve the protein structure and function. The second advantage is that the GST resin can be reused between 4 to 20 times so that uh, it's economical and then uh, it doesn't have more money to do all. and then the binding uh, kinetic between the glutathione and GST are relatively slow so that it ensures the maximum binding capacity between the glutathione and the protein the disadvantage is that heterologous protein which is usually produced in E. coli are frequently aggregate and forming in cushion body this means that as the heterologous protein is suitable for the expression in mammalian cell, so when we express in E. coli, which is prokaryote, it's uh, not giving a proper modification of the protein at the translation phase, so it borders the equation body. As the incorporation body is formed, we need to do additional step which is to refold the incursion body to form to form shape. So it is a purification of GST tag protein purification. GST tag protein is a method for inducible high level protein expression and purification from bacterial cell lysis. The use of GST is important as it acts as a chaperone to facilitate the protein folding and frequently the fusion protein can be expressed as a soluble protein rather than the inclusion bodies and the GST fusion protein can be affinity purified easily without denaturation or use of much detergent. Okay, the use of a GST tag protein has been used in numerous biological applications first in the nuclear magnetic resonance and crystal Crystallography structure determination. Uh, they are both a powerful technique that is used to determine three-dimensional structure of biological ma macromolecules at near atomic resolution. And next is the, uh, for the study of protein-protein interaction and immunological studies and vaccine production, structure function studies involving protein-protein and DNA protein interaction, and lastly for the protein mixed studies for the directional immobilization in protein microarrays and surface plasma resonance. The forest conclusion, the acetate protein affinity for chromatography is a method that will allow you to purify the protein from a mixed sample so that further investigation of this molecule could be carried out. Created using Powtoon.